Hi, welcome to the intro tutorial on the iRinger software. This is just a quick tutorial to get you started. Once you've downloaded the iRinger software, double click on the icon, which should look similar to that. This is the main program interface. All you have to do to get started is click the import media button. You can choose virtually any audio or video format as long as it's not encumbered by DRMs. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the open book mp3. Now it's converting. This could take three to five seconds, maybe longer depending on the length of the audio or video. If you choose a video file, it will extract the audio out of the video and then render it. That could take longer depending on the size of the video. If you're doing a quick YouTube video, it'll only take a few seconds. If you're doing a, a TV show, it could take 10 seconds. If you're doing a movie, it could take up to a minute. <clears throat> Okay, once it's done importing, you will see a waveform that looks similar to this. Now, from the beginning of the audio selection window to the end of the audio selection window is 30 seconds. You can change that length by grabbing the slider, by clicking, holding down the left mouse button, and sliding. That changes how long from here to here is in seconds. Right now it's at 21. Now it's back up to 30 seconds from here to here. The starting point is set currently at 0, 0.0 seconds. The length of the audio is 224.9 seconds. Now I want the audio to start here where the music starts building up. So I'm going to left click on this window, hold down the left click button, and slide to the left until I get to where I want it. Now I want to end the ringtone here. So to do that, we're going to slide the length of the ringtone to the left, and there we go. Now we have a 19.7 second ringtone. Now for demo purposes, I'm going to make this 7 seconds. To fine tune your selection, you can use your left and right arrow keys. I'm going to use the right arrow key until I get to 7 seconds on the head. Now, there's a nice feature called Fade. I'm going to set the fade to, let's set it to 20%. Now, what this means is that 20% of the beginning of the song is going to be used for fading in, and 20% of the end of the song is going to be used for fading out. What fading in means, it starts at 0% volume and builds up to whatever you have set here. In this case, it's 100% volume. So from here to here, 20% is going to be used to build the volume from 0% to 100%. And then when it, it's going to stay at 100% across here and then start <coughs> fading out from 100% down to 0% for the last 20% of the song. Okay, so once you've got everything set up the way you think you want it, you can hit the test ringtone button. I'm going to let this play so you can hear it fade in and fade out. Now you heard it fade in, stay at that volume, a consistent volume, and then fade out to nothing. So we, this sounds pretty good to me and I'm going to keep this ringtone. So I'm going to click the export ringtone button. We get a new dialog that has the directory, which should default to your documents in a directory called iPhone Ringtones. I'm going to change the title of this to be just Open Book. This is the title that's going to show up in iTunes and show up on your iPhone. I'm going to leave the Import to iTunes button checked. Um, if you uncheck this, it'll just all it'll do is create the ringtone and put it into this directory. If you have this button checked, it will put it into this directory and add it to iTunes. I'm going to set the looping at a half second gap. What this means is that when the ringtone is done playing, it's going to wait a half second, a half second before playing again. You can set this to no gap at all, so when the ringtone finishes, it just starts right back up again, or five seconds. And when the ringtone finishes playing, it waits five seconds and then plays again. I'm going to leave it at a half second gap and click OK. 
there ringtone has been created that simple now it says the ringtone open book has been created this ringtone has been added to iTunes as well please check iTunes to make sure it was added hit OK I'm gonna open iTunes here now you'll have a ringtones tab down here I'm gonna highlight that and sure enough there it is double click on it to preview it <laughs> That's exactly what we created. So now I have my iPhone already plugged in. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go to the ringtones tab and there it is. I'm going to highlight that. Hit apply and you'll see it up here. Copying open book one of one. There. Now you have a brand new ringtone and no time at all. And I hope this helped. I'm going to do another tutorial which gets into a little more advanced features as far as um, adjusting volume, selecting and pinpointing certain points in a song um, more accurately, extracting audio from video, and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Bye.